Hello, our dear football lovers. Have you seen the latest photos with Thiago Messi? The boy is literally ashamed of the PSG shirt he is wearing. Look at this. The Messi family has just landed in Barcelona and Thiago shamefacedly covers the PSG emblem on his jersey. Indeed, this city loves a completely different team. You see, Thiago himself, like his brothers, doesn't have much love for PSG either. Barca true and true. Leo taught him well. Here's how Barca fans reacted. However, the red and blue supporters were clearly not happy with him. Messi's sons were incredibly happy in Barcelona. Thiago scored goals at Barcelona Academy and dreamed of wearing a blaugrana shirt one day. Although we don't see the same amount of sympathy for PSG. We took a closer look at this situation and found several factors at once that indicate Thiago and Matteo not like in Paris at all. If you wanna figure things out with us, be sure to press like under this video. Well, are you true? Then let's get going. Leo Messi's last year's departure to Paris Saint-Germain came as a shock to everyone, including the people close to him. Antonella had no intention to leave her home nest, while Thiago, Matteo and Ciro simply got used to Barcelona. In Paris, Messi's family couldn't find a suitable house for quite a while, so they had to live in a hotel. Sure, it's five stars, best conditions, but still cannot be called home, where you can rest, feel comfortable and safe. And we mean it literally. While Messi and his family stayed at the Le Royal Mansau Hotel, his room was robbed. The thieves took thousands of euros in cash and jewelry. As is written in a mirror, the goat did not receive a very warm welcome in Paris. That was the first reason for disliking PSG. Not only for Thiago and Matteo, but for the whole family. The second reason takes a little more extensive turn. Not many pictures with Thiago and Matteo wearing PSG kit can be found on the internet, despite the fact that both allegedly play football at the club's academy. So, do Matteo and Thiago even perform at the PSG academy? We found no confirmed positive answer to the question. It was reported that all three Messi sons were enrolled in the facility when Leo moved to Paris Saint-Germain. But did the kids visit it in the reality? Not a single photo from training sessions or fixtures. No shootings in the academy kit. Even no random clips. Suspicious, isn't it? Here are the photos of Messi's children in PhD jerseys from Leo's presentation in Paris. Seems like these are the few rare shots of guys in this kit. Moreover, the video with Matteo's goal, allegedly sealed for the Parisian's academy, turned out to be fake. We've discussed this moment in detail and even found a real-life kid who succeeded in the video. If you haven't seen our analysis yet, go check it out, it's right here. Basically speaking, we have serious doubts on whether Matteo actually plays for PSG, and Thiago raises questions too. We saw how the boys fool around with the ball at home, but why are there no leaked media from the academy then? What a strange case. Kids definitely love Barca with much more passion, and most likely they still do. Yes, Matteo loves to tease that, but he liked Barcelona with all his heart. One may assume that Messi's family are no fans of Paris. Even in winter, the Spanish media reported on Leo's sons not yet being adapted to the new reality, and Antonella not liking that so much rainy and windy weather in the French capital. Conditions in Catalonia are much sweeter. Sun, sea, warmth, and their luxurious house near Barcelona. Nothing like what they have found in France. Constant stream of people on the streets is also not in the taste of Messi's wife. Many more tourists travel to Paris. Another reason, and a crucial one to be fair, lies in the language barrier. No one in Leo's family has yet spoken French. The kids were growing up in a Catalan environment with no barriers for self-realization, but here they are, supposed to adapt to foreign languages. Needless to say that Antonella and Leo have certain issues with it as well. The Corriere del Sport newspaper even noted Antonella getting furious and saying the following words to Leo in front of witnesses. Paris is hell. She certainly got tired of coping with everything that's been recently happening in her life. This info was published back in January, and in the spring, when Leo was booed in the stands of the Parc de Bronze Stadium, Antonella was almost crying. 
Besides, lastings and performances by Lapulga for PhD left much to be desired. As a result, we have a bunch of minuses with no signs of brighter days yet. Leo still has a year left on his contract with PSG and the agreement can be extended for one more season. But will Leo go for it? If his family continues to face struggles in France and Messi's results won't improve later on, then there will be no talks over extension. Marca writes that Leo announces his decision after the World Cup in Qatar. Now all his thoughts are focused on how to lead Albi Celeste to triumph in the competition. After PSG, everyone is asking Leo to join MLS side, but keep in mind that the option of a grand comeback to Barcelona for a beautiful retirement is always open, especially if Leo and his father sing a few with Laporta. As of now, we see how uncomfortable everyone feels in Paris. Leo, Antonella, Matteo, Thiago and even Ciro. Things will be alright guys, wait for another year and you'll find yourselves in a completely new place. And let it be Barcelona, make an epic final chapter to the fabulous story of the great Argentinian at Camp Nou, Camp True. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe to our project. Top notch content on the number one game can only be found here. The Inside Football Channel was with you. We watch football from a different angle. We wish you good mood and sound health. Bye bye.